There being 34 ayes and 33 noes, the bill is passed and its title agreed to. The Minnesota Senate passes another high-profile piece of legislation. Republicans argue the Paid Family Medical Leave Act would be too expensive, with many concerned about the effect it could have on small businesses. Rochester Senator Carla Nelson, however, says it would also have an impact on schools. Just this one well-intended provision will cost the Rochester Public Schools $565,000. And their note was, we will need to reduce staff to balance this budget. The DFL maintains the program is about being fair to workers in Minnesota. That includes Rochester Senator Liz Bolden, whose son was seriously injured in a motorcycle accident last spring. He spent two months in the hospital, including six weeks in a coma. She says people shouldn't have to decide between work and being with family members in need. I thought, what if I couldn't be here? What if I had to make the choice of being here or going to work so I could earn a paycheck to take care of my other kids as a single mom? No one should have to make that choice. The paid family leave bill passed along party lines with all DFL senators voting for it and Republicans against. Lawmakers in the House and Senate will need to work out the differences between each chamber's version before sending it to Governor Walls, who is expected to sign it into law.